Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about Hikando2Life.y and let's talk about images and icons and so on. So you can create some uh, icons for your plugin and have some fun. Uh, I created some icons for uh, for for this. Uh, I I use this uh, Autodesk icon guidance example to create some icons like uh, these ones. Yeah, so we can hey using and uh, make some tests to have some fun inside Revit. So uh, let's take a look in here and copy some icons to my project. Have this project in here. Let's open my actually let's yeah let's create a new folder images could be good enough and let's uh, open the folder and I'm gonna uh, copy some of the gray stuff could be good enough let's copy this one yes so I basically have uh, it's really small, but yeah, we have some box. Let's add actually the cube to be more interesting. Yeah, let's copy the cube. And yeah, I basically have a lot of icons in here. Uh, this is 32 for the dark, uh, dark, dark team. And this is the 32 for the not dark team, the light team. So let's try um, to add that. So I go in here and select images and try this one. Uh, PNG, PNG, and try to build. Uh, it's not going to appear in there because I need to, uh, to change something. Uh, to this to happen, I need to add this image as a resource so i'm gonna select everything go in the build action and gonna change it to resource yes and now i'm gonna rebuild this and when i build this this is gonna put that image inside the assembly like a resource so i can reuse in other place like you to set the icon or an image or a tooltip image actually uh, so this is the icon that I set up and if I use the light, uh, the light color, you can see that I have a border and and so on. So uh, basically like that. Uh, let's go back to the dark one. Yeah. But if I let's think uh, where I can put this. Yeah. If I put this in the reborn panel dot row this one uh, put button yes our button go oh, yeah and build that uh, actually works but this icon is scaled down so it's not great actually so if I could put this one to see what that should be better. Uh, image. And this is going to be 16. And now I'm using the small icon specifically for that option. Yeah. I change this to large. Going to be the bigger one. So basically, we need to add two, uh, two images in here. To this to work, uh, I usually create icon to with uh, both uh, sides, so I can uh, select it automatically uh, when I'm using this library. So yeah, uh, let's change to the box first. Then I show the icon that usually is yeah this is the box, not a big deal. And if I change to this, this is gonna be the light one. So that's it. Uh, I already created the uh, the icon. So let's copy here. Uh, let's delete this one. I don't need any more. And let's delete this one. I don't need any more. 
yeah instead of using like this i'm gonna use in the icon in the set large mesh and i guess don't have the size in here it's not a box it's a cube yes the build is probably gonna fail i need to set this one to uh resource so let's build again i'm gonna show you there should be yeah that's my large image and if i use the small one i'm gonna set it for the small icon so that's basically how it's working uh and i'm not sure if i can open this uh, let's open in gimp that probably gonna uh, make sense so let's go let's go no thank you yeah if i open gimp and open my icon i can see i have both sides uh, this is the 32 and this is what the 16 size so yeah i can have uh, both image in the same uh, icon so and that's basically how it works with uh, old icons or images inside the rabbit like the if i can find like let's try this uh, app and copy this one yes and set a new button our button two yes i'm using the, in this case i'm using the resource for another assembly like the autodesk assembly this y framework rest that should be pretty sure is rest for resource so have the image for the red icon and other stuff so if i build that gonna get my the red icon and i know if i change to uh, close i'm gonna have the x icon to the close button and if i change this to the small version i'm gonna use the small version for this icon as well because i have both uh image inside and yeah uh, for some reason at desk uh is not using uh, um, icon in version 24 for some reason using the dark and light i don't know why but yeah uh icon should be easier to work with yeah i guess so that's basically it for this this part uh for the resource yeah uh but you can also use uh, URL or HTTP image in some place. Like, let, I'm not sure. Let's find some image in here. Uh, let me think. Yeah. Mm, let's try. I'm pretty sure I have. Ah. Yes, let's copy this. Yeah, let's try my icon just to show. Uh, I can use in here as well uh, URL. So I'm gonna download the image and I'm gonna try to uh, insert in that. That works. Uh, usually, it's not a good idea. For testing, it's great. But for release, if he, the user doesn't have internet, it's not gonna appear your icon there. So yeah, that's one thing to do. Large. Yes. And other thing that is work as well is using resource. Yeah. Let's create a resource in here just to show. I'm gonna create in, in here as well. I'm gonna create a new item. Uh, let's search in here for resource source this one let's create a resource i guess uh actually let's add inside this folder 
res source yes resources yes so a source basically can put image text and so on let's create something like uh domain maybe uh, button maybe something like that yeah would be good enough and i can set maybe something like this the text and go in the uh in doesn't make too many sense but yeah image dot resource dot uh button name yes if i build that gonna appear here the button and also I can add the image in that so let's add something here uh image something like that or better probably something like this i guess if i go in here uh, i can move this icon uh in there this one so i have this is the name of my icon or my resource and i can add cube this one i actually need to get uh get bit bitmap resource so I'm gonna use that and convert this uh, this icon to a res to a bitmap resource, so I can add in my in my large image, and it should work the same as the other one. Yeah, uh, I usually don't does not use this approach anymore, but yeah, uh, it's still inside the plugin, the plugin inside the the package a library so yeah so you can reuse if i want uh and basically that i can use the same approach using the large or small image it should work as well uh could have a png let's try another color this purple one yes if i go in here put in here have this one and if i go in here and set uh cube purple dark and set uh to the image build that and go here should appear uh purple image in that yeah, interesting should be the light one should be better yes let's change to the this one let's put there uh, save close uh let's use this one yes build and uh should be purple with a little border around because that's the uh house desk uh put in the in the design icon guidance yes so if I show in here, what is it? Yep. So again, the guidance. Yes. Uh, basically, uh, this is playing here, but uh, if you have a light uh, theme, you need to add a border when you don't have, don't need, and the color change a little bit based on these colors. Yes, this color, I guess this one it's the same anyway uh so that basically it's for this video uh maybe i create another one uh to show how to to use to swap the icon when you change to dark or light uh light theme yeah that would be fun so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you. Bye-bye.